You cannot solve an absolute value problem until you get rid of the bars. So in order to get rid of the bars, you write two equations. I can start writing my two equations on this one because my bars are isolated. So I have x minus 2 divided by 4 is less than or equal to 5. Since this is a less than sign, I'm going to have the word and in between my two statements. And then I have to switch the signs on what's in the bar. So it's going to be a negative x, a positive 2. And then this is less than or equal to 5. And then you solve your two equations. So I would multiply both sides by 4 to get rid of the 4 off the bottom. So I would do that everywhere. So the 4's cross out. Leaves me with x minus 2 is less than or equal to 20. Add 2 on each side. And x is less than or equal to 22. Don't forget your word. So and. And then those 4's are going to cross out. And I'm going to have negative x plus 2 is less than or equal to 20. Subtract 2 on each side. So negative x is less than or equal to 18. Divide each side by negative 1. And when you divide by a negative, you've got to reverse the symbol. So then my answer is x is less than or equal to 22. And x is greater than or equal to negative 18. Greater than or equal to. So that also, if you want it, I'll accept it both ways. So you could also write this as negative 18 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 22. Because and statements can always be written as a compound statement. So let's see. I've got to go out to 20, negative 18 to 22. So 0. Let's go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. And this would be negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, negative 10, negative 12, negative 14, negative 16, negative 18, negative 20. So then these are going to be solid dots. I've got to be greater than or equal to a negative 18. So that means I'm going to shade in to the right. But I've got to be less than or equal to a positive 22. So I've got to shade into the left. So the only place that's double shaded would be in between the two of them.